In this video, we are discussing T of instruction of RS Logix 500 and the PLC which we are using here is Allen Bradley Micrologix 1100 Series B. So, T of, what is T of? T of stands for timer of delay. We use this instruction when we want that our output should get off after some time when we give input. So, for that we have got T for instruct, T of instruction. And it looks like this. Here we have got four columns address, time base, preset, and accumulator. Address is the address of T of, it means the memory address of PLC in which this timer will save. So we have got T4 column 0 to T4 column 255. These much counters or timers our PLC provide. Then next we have got time base. Time base is the least count or the minimum value of our timer that it will count. So it can be 1 second, 0.1 second and 0.01 second. Next we have got preset. Preset is the amount of time by which we want or we can say it is a delay by which we want that our output should get off. Next we have got accumulator. Accumulator is the real time value of our timer which will shown by PLC. Then in this instruction we have got two bits. These are known as control bits. One is unable bit, one is done bit and another we have got PT bit. So unable bit is one when my input is one. It means when this rung is true that time unable bit will be one or two and the output which is attached to unable bit will be one. Next we have got PT bit. In PT bit when my accumulator value is not equal to preset, it means right, uh, right now we have written 5 over in our preset and 5 over here also. So when my rung becomes true to false, mark my lines, when my rung becomes true to false, that time only my accumulator's value will start decreasing and it will attain zero value. So when accumulator value is not equal to preset, it means it is decreasing that time TT bit will be 1 and my output 1 will be there. Next we have got done bit. So done bit will be 1 when my accumulator is not equal to 0. It means when my rung becomes false, it means this input becomes false and accumulator will start decreasing. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and at 0 my done bit will be 0 and output will get off. So this is how we can see that I have removed this input, it means my rung is false and then accumulator will start decreasing and after 5 seconds its value becomes 0. So for that 5 seconds my done bit is 1 and after 5 seconds done bit becomes 0 and output will get off. So this is how working of T off. Next one more thing that we can't use reset instruction to reset our T off. It means when, when I want that our accumulator again becomes equal to preset, that time what I can do, I can make my rung true. That's it. So we can't use T of in that. And one more thing that in PLC, T of takes three words memory. For one is for control bit, one is for accumulator and one is for preset. So we are discussing here T of that is timer of delay. So now let's see some practical in practical here we have taken input and we have got t, t off as our timer and then on unable bit tt bit and done bit we have taken as input and all three of them we have taken different outputs that is 0 1 and 2 now uh, we have studied that t off get starts when our rungs becomes false from true so here we can see our rung is false now and when I press our input 0, we can see timer is not getting start as that was case in T on. Here, my condition will get fulfilled when my rung becomes false. And as well as I re remove my output, sorry, input as it, my rung becomes false. We can see our timer is getting start and after 5 seconds, our output gets off as we can see in panel also. So let me repeat. You can see rung is true, unable bit is there, done bit is there. So uh, my output 0 and 2 is start and after that when I release this input, timer will get start, unable bit is 1, tt bit is 1 and done bit will become 0 after 5 seconds.
So that was all about T off. If you have any queries, then please let me know in comment section. And if you want to learn more about Nielsen's Kada, then subscribe our channel. Thank you.